Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. I'm gonna get a message out for you guys. I hope the message does resonate in every which way, shape, or form that it needs to resonate for you. If you like my vibe, give this video a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below and let me know if the message does resonate, y'all, okay? I hope everyone is having an amazing day, feeling highly favored and highly blessed, okay? Today is Thursday. It is what? What they like to call Thursday? Friday's Eve. <laughs> Y'all, it just seemed like these weeks is flying. I ain't even gonna hold you. Anyways, let's get into the message. Let's see what the energy is looking like, okay? You know, the shuffle. What are the messages? Okay. We got the King of Cups. We got the Page of Swords in the reverse. Hey, we got the emperor coming out. We got the hermit. We got the seven of wands. And we got the six of wands. Let me get two more for the overall energy. Oh my goodness, they gave me three. I'm gonna take them. What's going on today? What's going on with the energy? We got the moon. We got the seven of pentacles. Hold on y'all, I need some space. <laughs> and we got the lovers mm -hmm. we got the star at the bottom of the deck what is going on what's this king of cups from the page of swords in reverse we got the page of cups We got the chariot. Somebody is wanting it. Somebody is like watching you. Like it's making me feel like somebody is watching you to see how they can come in. How they like somebody is like sitting back thinking like. Okay, how should I approach this person? With the Page of Cups coming out, how should I approach this person? Like, should I come in sweet? Should I come in aggressive? Should I come in nice? Like, somebody is, like, trying to figure out, like, what... Kind of feel like what mask to put on to approach you. They're trying to figure out, like, what you like, what you don't. Like, this is weird. Like, they're trying to figure out what you like, what you don't like, because they want to come in, like, like this emperor. Like, they want to come in like this emperor. So, they're trying to, like, and they don't want to be rejected. And not if not rejected, they want to take the right steps or say the right things to make themselves come off as this emperor. And it's to block some sort of success you got going on with the seven of wands and the six of, um, six of wands as well. It's like they want to secretly act like they want to invest in you, act like they like want to build something with you oh my god i got a lot from the overall energy y'all what is going on let's see what's this emperor and hermit oh we got the king of swords in the reverse and we got the eight of wands in the reverse with the two of pentacles Somebody is really, like, trying to figure out what, how to come in, like, how to approach you. And they're, like, slow to do it because it's, like, whoever this person is, you already see them how they are. It's, like, whoever this person is, they can't show you nothing but what they've already shown you about themselves oh my god mm. 
Like, this is somebody who knows they can't come in and manipulate you. This is somebody who knows that you're way too smart for that. You're way too smart for that. What's the seven of wands and the six of wands? We got the ace of pentacles and the eight of cups and the knight of swords. As I was saying in the overall energy, somebody wants to come in, okay, to block some sort of success that's going on for you in your life. You're doing very well and somebody is seeing this and they're kind of wanting a piece of the pie, if you know what I'm saying, okay? They, they kind of want a piece of the pie, all right? Yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I'll be talking so much. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups that came out to clarify, y'all, to clarify that, along with the Nine of um the Knight of Swords. Like somebody is wanting to stop some sort of. Somebody is seeing you on a high horse. Somebody is seeing you on top of a wheel, and they're not liking it. Like this is a fake person. This is a very fake person who is about to try to approach you and be fake. But I really feel like you going to see this straight off the bat. You going to see this straight off the bat. Straight off the bat. What's this moon? What's this moon? Gosh, these cars are flipping, y'all. We got the seven of cups. Um, and we got the three of wands like this person with the ace of swords this person wants to like like put like put you in some sort of illusion or something like that with the seven of cups and the three of wands like oh my goodness who the hell is this person and like this is hidden like they have they have motives up their sleeves, though. It's like they want you to walk away from opportunities. They want, they don't, they don't like that you're doing good because I really feel like this person is not doing as well as you are, and they're not liking that. They're not liking that. They're wanting you to walk away from things that is bringing you abundance. Bringing you love, prosperity, success, okay? This is clarifying the moon. Like, somebody really is about to come towards you and put it on thick. That's why I really need you to use your discernment with this person. If, if you feel it ain't right, it ain't right. If this is a person who done you dirty, who done you wrong in the past, and they coming back acting like they just owe this almighty change person... Honey, baby, I really feel like somebody's about to be tested because somebody is on an up and up right now. Somebody is doing good, whether you got a business, whether you, you know, you work a nine to five, whatever it is that you're doing, you're being seen as doing very well for yourself. Somebody is seeing it. Somebody is watching you progress. Somebody don't like it. Somebody is really trying to come in. Yeah, with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords as I open it up. Somebody is really trying to like knock you off your square. And they're about to come in and with this Seven of Pentacles. As, as I just, uh, Two of Cups fell out as well. This seven of pentacles and a lover, like somebody is about to really come in, put it on thick. Like they want a relationship with you. They want to invest in you or they're, they're definitely about to come love bomb you. They're about to do something because they're trying to figure out how they even want to approach you. I really feel like somebody is about to be tested. Because somebody is on the up and up. And I, I got to keep saying that because I see it. Somebody's on the up and up. Okay? Once again, at the bottom of the day. Knight of Cubs. Somebody want a piece of the pie. Somebody want a piece of the pie. 
What's the seven of pentacles and the lovers? Like they want whatever you invest in, it, they they want some of it. What's the seven of pentacles and the lovers with the sun? I cannot make it up. With the sun. Mm, mm, mm. With the Ten of Pentacles. They want a piece of the pie, okay? What's the sign? What's the sign? We got the Nine of Wands. Mm. This is like something you, this is something that you got your, you got yourself out of whatever this is. Like, you got yourself out. This is somebody that's coming back. This is not somebody new that's about to come in. This is somebody you already know was in a relationship with. It just dropped off because they was playing games. Like, take it how it resonates because it's going to be different for a lot of people. It could have been somebody who just, somebody who just didn't get off the ground or you could have just deemed this person as like, okay, well, they playing games. I'm good. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? And went on about your life. Now they see like, I should have invested in them, but they didn't, ha they didn't have good intentions for you then. And they don't have good intentions for you now. We got the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is like, really, really, oh my God. They don't know what to do. Because they feel like, and I'm not going to say that they feel like they fumbled a bag, but it's like now that they looking at you, they kind of feel like they fumbled a bag. They kind of feel like they should have took you serious when they had the chance to. When they had the chance to. They also know it's going to be hard depending on the relationship, depending on the circumstances you was with this person. Or what happened or how y'all, you know, y'all departed. They kind of know that it's not going to be easy. This is why this person is behind the scenes plotting and scheming on how to come towards you. What's this page of cups? Oh my goodness. Y'all, that was too many. I ain't going to take all the cards. What's this page of cups? What's this page of cups? We got the three of swords. What's the three of swords? We got the ten of cups. We got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is like sitting back like... I could have been a part of that. That could have been me. Like sitting back thinking about all the things they probably said. All the things they did. How they going to switch it around? How they going to come in and say they changed? Like, somebody is like really like hurt. They're hurt at themselves. They are hurt at themselves. Like, how can I not see this? Like, but it's like this person knows like, it's not going to be easy to get back in your life. And this person is really not even trying to get back in your life. This person is trying to stop what you got going on. Like, this is a flighty type of person. This person is about to act like they did a whole 360 just to get in, just to get in your business know what's going on how you work what's what you got going on so they can this is a very strategic person very strategic they are about to play the role honey and and that's only if you let this person back in they are going to play the role honey literally play the role What's this King of Swords in the reverse and the Eight of Wands in the reverse? We got the Six of Wands. You definitely walked away from this person because, <laughs> yeah. And every since you, you've been in the Three of Cups energy, okay? Every since you've been in the Three of Cups energy on top of the wheel and they don't like it. <laughs> What's the Six of Swords? We got the seven of swords. Yeah. 
We got the seven of swords. This person is waiting to deceive you. This is kind of giving me like, oh. Oh, we got the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You, you, are, you are doing your thing. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Whoever this person is, they actually view you like leaving them as a betrayal. You walking away, bettering yourself, doing better without them. They view it as a betrayal. Like this person's mind is very warped. You know exactly who this is, though. You know exactly who this person is. You're on an up and up right now. Whether it doesn't matter how other people view uh, uh, an up and up. If you know you're about your business, you're doing your thing, you're going to work, you make your money, you're paying your bills, you, you, you're shining, boo. And they don't like it. They actually view you walking away from them, not taking their bull crap on whatever they were putting you through. They view it as a betrayal. Yeah. Tower as I cut the deck. Like... They, they feel like one day they just woke up and you was on top of the world. They like, whoa, what happened? Somebody thought you were just going to fall from grace. What's this Ace of Pentacles? We got the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, and the Nine of Cups. Somebody's wish. Somebody wants to sabotage you so bad. And this is the thing. This is a th somebody want to sabotage you so bad. Okay? With the Knight of Pentacles being here, like I said, in the overall energy, this person is watching, trying to see how to come in. They're, they're, they're behind the scenes, like, thinking, okay? How they, uh, they are about to, they're, how they about to be strategic. How they about to come in and, destroy you they you're you're too peaceful you're too peaceful you're too peaceful yeah peaceful peaceful <laughs> you're too peaceful too peaceful they don't like it somebody can have a white cat a big one <laughs> a big one if not all white white and black Whoever this person is, you can have a baby by this person. Or kids, take it how it resonates. Literally. And I don't know why I'm getting this from the Six of Swords. You see how the man is on there and he got the kid and the, and the woman sitting there? Like, this is what this person wants to do. They want to be the leader. They want to they wanna lead you. No, and they don't well, they don't got no direction. I don't know why I just got that from that. But somebody definitely do want to sabotage some sort of opportunity that you're partaking in. They see it's doing well for you. They really, really do. I don't have some hair on me again. Jesus. Okay. They really do. Mm, mm, mm. What's this Eight of Cups? We got the Two of Swords. And what's this Two of Swords? We got the Knight of Cups. <laughs> they are hoping, okay? <clears throat> Will of Fortune at the bottom of the day. They are hoping... That you are blind to their bullshit. They are hoping that when they come in acting like this Prince Charming and da 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 da, they are hoping. Look, just look, look, she got the blindfolds on and he got the cup. Okay. They want you to eat like erase thoughts of past thoughts. Let's start over. Let me let me play you again. This is what is given. Let me play you again. Let's erase everything. Let's sweep everything up under the rug. Let me play you again. Because this is what this person wants. 
They want to come in. They want to act like they are for you. Oh, they're going to love bomb the hell out of you. This is giving me, this is the type of person that get bored easily. Like they get bored. After they with you for a while, they get bored. Like the only time that it's like exciting to them is in the beginning. You know, when the, what is it? The honeymoon phase. It's only exciting to them in the beginning. Oh, we go here, we do this, we do that. And then once they, you know, kind of settle down and, you know, it's like, oh, okay, well, I need to look for my next victim type of thing. Y'all, y'all know what that sound like. I ain't even gonna say the word, okay? Okay. What's the seven of cups and the three of wands? Well, they definitely, they, they definitely got a hit of the agenda with the two of pentacles. And what's the two of pentacles? <clears throat> We got the nine of cups in the reverse. We got the two of cups. This person is going to come in, okay? This is their, this is clarifying the moon, the seven of cups, the three of wands, and then we got the two of pentacles and the nine of cups in the reverse. They want to mess with your emotions. And this is all because you're doing well. This is all because you're doing well. They feel like you, you're on top of the world. You're on top of the wheel, should I say. And they don't like it. Like, this is giving me like somebody thought they actually just went on about their little merry life. And they thought you was like balled up in a corner somewhere, just hurt and beat up and mad and looked at life differently and had a scar on your heart that you could never get rid like and when they turned around and seen you doing your thing that kind of bruised this person's ego because they the whole time thinking you sitting around waiting on them like yeah Thinking you were sitting around fighting for a relationship with them. Like, they, this person's mind is so warped. It, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. They want to come in and they want to make you unhappy. They want to be the one to juggle when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're mad, when you're up, when you're down. Like, somebody wants complete control over you. And whatever you're doing. What's the sun and the nine of wands? What's the sun and the nine of wands? We got the five of swords in a reverse. And the fool. Somebody want to reconcile. They definitely do. And it's not for the good re the best reasons. It's not. What's the five of swords in the reverse? What's this five of swords in the reverse? Like, we got the queen of cups and we got the four of pentacles. Like, I don't know what you did to this person, but they miss it. This queen of cups, they miss your caring energy. They miss you loving on them. They miss you. And it's like, this person wants you to love on them, you know, with the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, they want to hold on to this, okay? They want you to love on them. They want you to dope on them. They want you to spend your money on them. They want you to spend your time on them. They want you to spend your energy or give them your energy, and they don't want to give you nothing in return. They don't want to give you nothing, and that is so selfish. That is so selfish. That is so selfish. Mm, mm, mm. What's this three of swords? Listen, somebody is about to be tested. I cannot express that enough. Because you're doing good for yourself, okay? 
And you're going to be even doing better once you pass this test. Okay? This is a test to see if... Did you learn something from this situation? Or is you about to let this person come back into your life? Sell you a dream? And destroy everything you built? That you accomplished that you while you was not in this person's energy. And after you pass this test, baby, you're going to see everything going up. Your numbers, your bank account, your success, your skin, your hair, your neck, everything about to just blow up. Okay? With the magician at the bottom of the deck. Come on now. What's this three of swords and a ton of cups? You want you wasn't happy with this person. You wasn't. Please keep that in mind. You was not happy with this person. Why do this part keeps this getting on my nerves? We got the three of cups in the reverse, and we got the ace of cups in the reverse. You was not happy in this situation with the ten of wands. This this ain't do nothing but stress you out. Nothing but stress you out. You were not happy at all. Three of cups in the reverse. Ace of, there was nothing to celebrate. Nothing with this person. Nothing at all. Remember why you left the first time. What's this uh, six of swords and the seven of final swords? We got the page of pentacles in the world. Mm. You cut this person off. You stopped talking to this person. You went on about your life because you really felt this like this person was breadcrumbing you anyway. This person really was not contributing to your situation. You were. You were. And they were they were not contributing on purpose. And this was because they were being very strategic. Very strategic. What's this Ten of Swords? And a, what's this Ten of Swords and a Knight of Pentacles? Because they definitely want to see you go down. They want to watch it. They want to be the cause of it and they want to watch it. With the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> they want to come in, honey. And when I say they want you so unstable, baby, they want you so unstable. Nobody else will find you attractive. Nobody else will want to work with you. Nobody else will find you ambitious, creative, nothing. Like th with the strength at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Please listen to your intuition. Please use your discernment. If a person did not treat you right the first time, what makes you think they're going to come back and treat you right the second time? Especially if, just say this was, oh, this happened, you parted ways from this person uh, six months ago. Did they really change in six months? I'm not saying people can't. I mean, people can. People could change. But somebody with this type of mind, six months? No, baby. Somebody needs some therapy. And I ain't even no doctor. But the way they mind is warped is just, mm-mm. What's this line of pentacles in reverse? Oh, my God. Hold that. Come on, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. I think I put the cards in here wrong. Jesus Christ. What's going on? This reading got me all over the place. What's this line of pentacles? The magician in the reverse. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, this person definitely wants to steer the narrative. Definitely wants to play God in your life. Definitely wants to be manipulative with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. And they want to do it by, oh, like, dangling a relationship in your face. That's how they want to do it. I'm going to give you this. We're going to do that. Like, mm. I won't be surprised this person come back talking about, oh, we should have been together. With the four of wands at the bottom, I mean, right behind that, we should get married. Like, I won't be surprised if this person really, because this person knows. Listen to me. 
I need you to listen to me. This person knows that it is not going to be easy with them trying to get back in your energy. They know it. They know you see them for exactly who they are. So they is about to go to the extreme. Everything that you wanted that this person didn't give you the first time. Oh, they about to come back and try to give it all to you. All of it. Even if they don't want to. This is the, with the six of cups as I open it. Even if they don't want to. Because first of all, they want to benefit off of what you got going on. Okay. This is, this is what I'm seeing. They want to come back and benefit off of what you got going on, okay? They're not just going to come in and just, just tear the whole building down. No, 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 no. They're going to come in. They're going to benefit off of what you got going on. They're going to drain you dry, suck you dry. But in the meantime, as they're doing that, they looking for their way out, Okay. They looking for a way out. Who next? Who's the next victim? Who else can I go in? Once they drain you dry, then they're going to sabotage it. They're going to drain what they can get. Then they're going to sabotage This is all a part of the plan. And no matter how good it feels, oh, it feels good for you to actually do the things that you should have done before. No matter how good it feels, it's not real. It's not real. It's a facade. It's a part of the plan. It's a part of the plan. What's this Knight of Cups? We got the Hangman and the Higher Friend. In the Tower. Cannot make this up. They are about to come in and offer you. Oh my goodness, y'all. I just really hope somebody is on on just on a on a shit, okay? Because it's it's about to it's about to get real. This is about to be like, I'm telling you, I I I, I keep seeing tests. This is about to be a test. This is about to be a test. And if you if you are really not over this person, if you are really not over this person, if you are really wanting like this person to come back, get their stuff together, and you're going to give this person another chance, you're going to regret it with the tower. You're going to regret it. This person is trying, it's going, it's going to try to keep you stuck. Like I said, even with the marriage. Mm, mm, mm. That, that, this is, listen, I don't do readings just to play with cards or just to say any and everything. I do readings because I want to help somebody. I've been through, ugh, honey, <clears throat> if I told you what I've been through, you will be like, you lying. You are lying. You don't look like you've been through anything. Yeah. But I don't do readings just to talk for the hell of it. Like, I'm telling you what I see. Because somebody who actually wants this person back and actually do want this person to change, the universe is sending you a test, okay? Because before you actually... Get blessed. And some people be like, okay, oh yeah, I'm making a little bit more money. That's a blessing. Yes, it is a blessing. But it's a whole, it's it's something way bigger than that out there for you. Something way bigger. And after you pass this test, honey, you're not even going to believe it. But somebody wants to come back in somebody's life. But And they're going to do it. I mean, test or not, they're going to try. But if you take this person back, baby, do you see how they falling out of this tower? I don't want that to be you. I don't want none one of these people falling to be you. 
I don't. You're doing your thing, okay? You're doing your thing. And I don't want nobody to come in and sell you a dream and take you off the path that you should be on. I don't. What's this five of swords in the reverse and the queen of cups? We got the queen of pentacles. What's this queen of pentacles? We got the strength and we got the tower. We got the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. This person wants to reconcile, okay? Five of swords in the reverse, queen of cups. They want to reconcile with you. They miss you. They miss your energy. They wait. They miss the way you used to care for them. They miss how you took care of them. They miss how you basically just, you turned a blind eye to certain things. And it's okay. It We all have. It's okay. We learn from our mistakes, right? They see you on the up and up, Queen of Pentacles. They see you in the bag and not the mess, okay? They see it. They see it with the strength. They see it strongly. And they want to shake some shit up in your world. They do. They do. They want to put you in a nine of swords energy. What's this tower? What's this tower? We got the king of wands in the reverse. Mm, mm, mm. What's this king of wands in the reverse? We got the high priestess. What's the queen, king of wands in the reverse and the high priestess? Like, they don't... Oh, gosh. They don't want you to listen to your intuition at all. They want you to neglect it. They want you to... <sighs> What's this King of Wands in the reverse and the High Priest? Oh, no. Okay, we got some cards that fell. And we got a bunch that came out. And I'm not going to take all these. Hold on, y'all. Oh, my. And I say it's a long way down, y'all. It's a long way down, okay? Okay, I'm on back. I'm back. Back in the fit. Okay. Ugh. Oh. What's this high priestess? What's this high priestess? Come on, babe. What's this high priestess? We got the king of pentacles in the reverse. They don't want you to listen to your intuition. They don't want you doing better than them. They don't. With the devil at the bottom of the day. This person don't mean you no good. They don't. They don't. They just want to bring this. They, they just want you tied to them. They want to use you for resources. They want to be able to come in and out when they please. They want you to be. Lord have mercy. They just want you there. They want to be able to use you as a resource. They don't want. They, they don't. They don't respect you. They don't respect you. They don't. They want to burden you. They want to burden you. Hold on. I'm going to change that deck, y'all. Let me get some new energy out here. Because, yeah, we already know what they want to do. We already know. Okay. Get some new energy out here. Can I... I touch on what's gonna happen for my collective. Can I touch on what's gonna happen for my collective? We got the five of cups. We got the knight of cups. We got the eight of cups. What's this five of cups and a knight of cups? Like, 
We got the Knight of Swords and we got the Hermit. And we got the Three of Pentacles. This person, and it's still talking about this past person. This person is going to be very disappointed if they cannot come in and charm you. They're going to be very disappointed. They're going to be very disappointed. Very. What's this Knight of Swords and a Hermit? What's this Knight of Swords and a Hermit? With the Seven of Pentacles? With the Seven of Pentacles? With the Four of Swords? We got the Page of Swords. Somebody is really thinking about if, if they should and, and give this person a second chance or invest in this person. And I'm telling you, this is your confirmation. No, I don't care how much of a dream it sounds, how good it sounds. No, no. I'm also getting that you're going to be disappointed if you do. If you do. Okay? Literally. Knight of Swords, the Hermit, Seven of Pentacles, and the Four, four of Swords. All this person wants to do, let me show you, is run in. Use you for resources, ghost you, and leave you flatline. That's it. That's it. That is all this person wants to do. And I really feel like it's not changing the energy because there's more to be said on this. It's more to be said on this. Like, I really feel like God, the universe, your spiritual team, your ancestors is really trying to relay a message to you. They really are. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Oh. We got the Two of Wands. What's the Two of Wands? We got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. And we got the Ten of Swords. I mean, Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is clarifying the seven of pentacles. All somebody wants to do, all they're doing is plan, planning to come in and lie to you, burden you, make things hard for you. Like this person is sick, burden you, your success, burden it with the moon right after day. Listen, please continue to do what you're doing, okay? And I'm saying this because I know sometimes things can be tempting. It's called temptation. Things can be tempting. And I know some people is going to be in the comments and they're going to say, well, I'm not going back. Good. I don't want you to go back. But there is other people out there that feel like or like well if they get their self together then I'll get them give them another chance this is somebody and I'm not saying this is for all okay because I'm feeling this very heavily very very heavily and I'm I'm sensitive okay I'm gonna just say that I'm very sensitive okay and I feel it very very heavily I've been here before. That's why it's um, it's really hitting me kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? You want to put your faith in someone. You want to believe that they can do better. You want to believe that they have your best interest in heart. You want to believe that everybody deserves 
a second chance. Some people third or fourth, you know, it depends on how you take that. Some people give people five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chances. You know what I'm saying? Because they see potential in this person. They see that they can do better. They see that they can change. But the thing of the matter is nowadays in this in this lifetime, we have to stop putting in our mind what people could do. Because if they wanted to do it, they would do it. Start looking at people of what they show you and not what potential you see in them. What are they show what are they showing you? Are they showing you the potential or are you just saying, "Oh, I'm going to pull the potential out of them?" Mm -mm. That's one mistake a lot of people make, I feel like. I see this person got potential, but they don't show it. That's because they don't want to. And it, they don't mind watching you struggle, go crazy out your mind, trying to pull it out of them. They don't, they don't mind watching you do that. So this is very Pacific. Take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. This is very Pacific. A lot of people was not, a lot of people was done with this person. And I get it. You're done. You're done. But for people who are still on that fence of, what if they did change? If you take this person back, the only, per only person that's going to change is you. You're going to change. You're going to look up and you're going to see everything that you accomplished, everything you worked so hard for, go down the drain. It's going to be gone by the time you look up because you're going to be so far in trying to help change this person and to be the person you want them to be. You're going to end up changing yourself and not even knowing it. Okay. So. For the people who's done done and done done, got it. You're done done. I'm glad, okay? But for the people who is still on the fence, like, what if, I'm going to just say this, could have, should have, would have. And that's just that on it, okay? Please do not discredit yourself. Please do not bring yourself down to bring someone else up. Because if you think about it, they wouldn't do it for you. Yeah. I'm going to stop touching on this before I really, 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 really get sensitive. Okay? <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, Yeah, I, I really, really wanted to get into the success. What, what's going on with you? You know, but everybody is different and it's okay. And... I can't just make up a story. I have to read the cards as they come out. So I understand people, you know, want to um, other readings and other things to come out. And, you know, I do too. When I meditate before I turn the camera on and I pray over my cards and things of that nature, I always, you know, pray for good energy to come out. But and I, but I also pray for messages to come out, not only what you want to know, but what you need to know as well. So I read the cards as they come out, y'all. Um, so y'all do see me though. When, when I do get a message that's just, oh, just lit, lit, litty, okay? I'll be too excited, okay? Yeah, but I have to read the cards how they come out. And I was hoping for a uplifting reading but if you really think about it this was an uplifting reading this was an uplifting reading somebody needed to hear this somebody needed that confirm confirmation okay <laughs> okay <laughs> 
Okay, y'all. Um, I really appreciate y'all for just clicking on my videos, just watching me be a fool sometimes, because sometimes I can really be goofy. And yeah, <laughs> I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all comments. I appreciate y'all likes, y'all shares, y'all subscribes. Um, y'all, if you watching me and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and turn your post notification bell on, y'all. This is gonna get on my nerves. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And turn your post notification bells on so you know every time I drop a video. Okay? Um, make sure you like this video if you like my vibe. And also leave me a comment down below and let me know um, if this did resonate. Because somebody is really thinking about if they, like somebody's about to really put it on thick for somebody. And their motives is not good. It's not. Okay? So, once again, thank you guys so much for just listening to my goofy self. Okay? Just listening to me, clicking on my videos. Even on the videos that does not resonate for you. And you just want, just want to join the family. Okay? I'm witty. Okay? So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. I really hope... This reading did resonate with someone and gave somebody some clarity if they really, really wanted to take a past person back. Please do not, do not get in the way of your blessings, okay? Because somebody got something very, very big coming and this is a very big test that they got to pass, okay? Trust me, I know, all right? All right, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.